to the stovetop garlic bread. It looks absolutely delicious. The oven garlic bread, oh, look at that, also delicious. Everyone loves garlic bread, and I'm making it two different ways today. One on the stovetop and the other in the oven. Which one's better? Let's find out. You'll need some bread, softened butter, garlic. I'm using fresh garlic and garlic powder today. Salt, parsley, dried or fresh is good. Those are the ingredients. When making garlic bread, the most important thing are the ratios. For two slices of bread, I like using two tablespoons of butter and one clove of garlic. Finally, mince up the garlic clove. You can use more garlic if you'd like. Add a pinch of salt to the garlic. The salt is gonna do two things. First, it's gonna draw the water out of the garlic and making it easier to mince. And second, when we want to make the garlic into a paste by flattening it down with the side of the knife, the salt granules are gonna help that paste form. By making a paste with the garlic, it's gonna release so much more flavor. Add the garlic paste to your softened butter, the garlic powder, and the teaspoon of dried parsley. Mash it all up together. Generously spread the garlic butter on one side of the bread. Make sure you get it right to the edges. The garlic bread is now ready to either go into the pan over medium heat or into the oven at 400 to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes or until it's golden brown on top. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a toaster oven because I only have one slice of bread that I'm toasting today. After about 10 minutes, the one in the oven should be done. Look at that. Woo! If it's not brown to your liking, just turn on the broil and let it uh, broil on top for a little bit longer. For the stovetop version, I'm gonna turn it to medium heat. Place your garlic bread butter side down. Let it toast there until the bottom is nice and golden brown. After a few minutes, just take a peek underneath, make sure it's not burning. That's looking pretty good. Once it's golden brown to your liking, just flip it over. After a couple more minutes on the other side, it's very hot. I can plate it up. And there is the stovetop garlic bread. They both smell incredible right now and I can't wait to dig in. Okay, so the garlic bread is ready to be eaten. Uh, I'll just bring it closer to you so you can see. Here, close up. This is the stovetop garlic bread. It looks absolutely delicious. You'll notice it's a little bit darker in the center. Uh, the browning is more focused. Same with the bottom. For the oven garlic bread, oh, look at that, also delicious. The browning is a little bit more even uh, and you can also control the browning by turning it once in the oven. The bottom, very nice. The one in the oven took around 10 minutes. Uh, the one on the stove top took a little bit longer because I wanted to slowly heat it up on a medium heat. Otherwise, the garlic burns really quickly. I would say it took about 13 to 15 minutes for the one on the stove top. I'm now gonna cut these up and give it a taste. I'm gonna try the one on the stove top first. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. Mm. That's very solid garlic bread. I'm gonna try the one from the oven. Mm. Very interesting. Delicious garlic flavor coming through. It's just incredible. I would say the one in the oven is a little bit crunchier. You could probably achieve the same level of crunch with the stovetop version in the pan if you let it go a little bit longer or turn up the heat. I mean, either way, you're gonna be happy with this because it's so good. It's garlic bread. I do notice that the one in the oven is a little bit more dry, but some people like a crunchy and crispy garlic bread. So if that's you, I'd say go for the oven. Mm. There I go again, just look at my fingers. Final thoughts, the garlic bread is gonna be delicious no matter which way you make it. But a couple key differences. 
First, in terms of texture. The one in the oven was slightly drier, but a little bit more crunchy and crispy. In terms of flavor, the one on the stovetop actually had a slightly deeper and better garlic flavor, possibly because of the direct heat from the pan sauteing that garlic butter right into the bread. In terms of time, it is quicker and easier to manage in the oven than the stovetop. For me, I would probably go with the oven version just because it's easier to make and I get that extra crunch I like in garlic bread. But if I had the time, I would go with the stovetop version because it does give a better flavor. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer the stovetop garlic bread or the oven garlic bread. And I will see everyone soon. Bye for now.